um, the channel. I am Grant the Umpire, and um, in today's video, we will be talking about different plate accessories that you need working behind the plate as an umpire. We're going to talk about stuff like plate, like plate brushes, um, things like um, indicators, and things like ball bags. We'll get right to all of that fun stuff after the intro. So, um, like I said, we are talking about plate accessories today. Um, that's including um, indicators slash clickers, plate brushes and ball bags, plate brushes and ball bags. We're first going to get into indicators and or clickers. So, I do have four, but I'm not staying very organized, apparently. I lost, um, lost one after my first game. Gotta be around here somewhere. But I'm gonna get, um, a little closer to the camera. Actually, I think I'll just zoom up. How about that? There we go, that's fancy. Alrighty. This first clicker... This first clicker, it is metal, oops, it's metal, it is very old, it does not turn that quick, quick, the numbers are faded, but a lot more umpires are using these metal ones nowadays, and, um, like I said, this one's kind of faded, but metal, um, faded numbers, but still, I don't mind these, these are my secondary choices, all of these are metal, some of them are just different, um, in shape and size. The next one is also technically the same one. The words are a little faded. You can see that. This one I got from a real minor league umpire. And this one turns phenomenally well. And uh, really good, really handy. Um, fits in your hand. Uh, the metal ones are a little more harder to turn when your hands are a little more sweaty, I've noticed. The other ones have just a little more durability on the turn ones, the black ones, but uh, yeah, still secondary choice for that one. And then the last one I'm showing you today is this three dial one. Turns really good. Little, um, well, I don't know how to describe it, but um, numbers right there, there's a green dial, black dial, and a red dial in there. Um, up to down order. So this one is another great one. I love all. I love every one that I have except for that first one. I showed you it's just old and I don't really use it. But still, this one's pretty darn good. Next, we're talking about plate brushes. Gotta go grab them here. But um, so I'm gonna go from my least for my um, least favorite to favorite. This one I've never used never hardly even touched. I just got it, you know, I just got it from an umpire that gave me a whole bag of stuff. But you can see those bristles are just like really small and then this handle's just really awkward. I'm not a fan of this one. Never used it and never will. This one is, has faded of the company name, but more just really old bad bristles on it. Probably seen better days. Handle is the same as the other one I'm going to show you. So it's not that, the handle's not that awful, but the bristles just are evenly shaped and not pretty. Um, next is this wood one. Can't, what can I say? But the next is this wood one. Same handle as the last one I showed you. I like the handle. Nice little grip area. Bristles were um, pretty darn long. The only thing that is, um, about this one is it does not quite fit into your ball bag as my uh, as the other one does but this is still uh, 
one pouch inside, which I'm not a fan of those. Pouch is inside with my hand, I'm trying to reach in, and then my hand gets stuck. But anyway, maybe, and that's why it is. I can't, can you tell if it's maybe on the camera? I can't tell, but it is maybe. Next is this one. Is this even have to No. Um, this one, it's fine really from the front. It's all another haunted crystal shop, but the back it just has that weird, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just weird material that's not usually on the back. I'm not a fan of that, and I don't use it. It's in my pile of unused things. Next is this one. This is another, this is like an old one, and it's a faded black. The belt loops are falling off, and, um, but it's just a faded black, looks like a really dark purple, and, yeah, not a fan of that one either. Now we're getting into the black ones and the ones I like. Here's a Haunted Whistle Shop black one. They're a really dark navy. These ones have the pockets inside, but, um, I can't tell if it's black or really dark navy. But still, it's an okay one, and, but it just has a weird little layer issue on the back. Here's, oh, I didn't even see this one. I wonder where I uh, put it earlier. But this is another weird texture on the back one. Otherwise, front is still bl black and good from Haunted Little Shop. And then my favorite one's kind of wrinkled. Wrinkled. But, there we go. It is plain black. Got it in, um, six sporting goods coming out, um, with the solid ball bags there. Just got it from them at, um, one of my first umpire kits I ever got. There you go, number one ball bag. And so that is our video for today. Why can't I zoom out? There we go. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please, please subscribe. Because we are two away from getting to 100 subscribers in the 100 subscriber special. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, turn on notifications, and subscribe.